Hello, my name is Andrew Kerr, and this is my video statement for MIT's Master's in Supply Chain Residential Program. The first question of the prompt is, why would you like to study for a Master's in Supply Chain Management, and what in your background prepares you? I have been interested in supply chain for the greater part of the last 10 years or so. I grew up watching episodes of How It's Made on Discovery Channel, and I've always been intrigued by how the material things in our lives got to where they are to serve their purpose. So from something as simple as a water bottle, where did the material come from? How did it get to the factory? How was it manufactured? How was it transported to the retailer? And ultimately, how did it get to me as the consumer to fulfill its purpose? I think that everything has a sort of secret history to it, which is the world of supply chain which is very exciting to me. At this point in my career, I'm ready to accelerate my growth from a theoretical perspective so I can really transition from becoming a local or individual contributor to become a industrial innovator or leader and put my own creative stamp on supply chains with different solutions. The second part of the question regarding what in my background prepares me I got my undergraduate degree in industrial engineering from a uh, world-class university, which taught me how to solve problems, and then created a deliberate but cross-functional career in supply chain, starting with uh, internships and co-ops in both warehousing and materials planning with Rockwell Automation, to a diverse manufacturing career with General Mills, uh, a world leading food manufacturer to a, a manufacturing career with PepsiCo in a different region and now uh, still with PepsiCo but in a transportation and logistics role which I intentionally took to widen my cross-functional base to understand more about the complexity of, of supply chain so I can better understand it and make improvements for a, a corporation or government entity. The second question is, describe the perfect job that you would like to get after you have completed the Supply Chain Master's program. I do not have a specific title or corporation that I'm interested in working for. However, uh, I am aware of the characteristics of the perfect job that I would like. Ideally, I would work for a government entity or corporation that is driving global positive change. I have a personal interest in climate change, both preventing it and mitigating some of its more bleak consequences. And I would like to combine my personal analytical skills and technological skills to work for a corporation or government entity who is actively seeking to minimize their global footprint through supply chain and or mitigate more of the bleak consequences that stem from their footprint on the earth from a climate perspective. And the third question is, what global supply chain problem do you find the most interesting and why? I alluded to it in the last question, but I have a personal passion for climate change. When we look at changes in the world recently, the global temperature has risen over one and a half degrees in the last century, and CO2 levels have doubled in the last 50 years alone. For the world, this means that oceans are warming, which will cause an increase in hurricane frequency and strength, which we've absolutely seen here in the United States. It also means that we will see stronger monsoon seasons in parts of the world like Asia, which will inherently disrupt many supplier networks for corporations. So how are corporations mitigating second and third tier suppliers as we see an increase in these natural disasters? How are ports around the world dealing with potentially rising sea levels? And as we start to see major swings in temperature, how are governments and corporations dealing with uh, Arctic freezes or things like droughts as well that are inhibiting transportation and suppliers as well. So I'm incredibly passionate around not only preventing these things from a corporation or government perspective from their footprint, but also mitigating things that we don't even know are going to happen yet.
Thank you for your time.